Here's how a simple roll of steel turns into the body panels of a car. This is the stamping workshop at Volkswagen. In the next two minutes, let's walk through the entire car body stamping process. First, an overhead crane lifts and moves the steel coil to the cutting station. A transfer cart then carries it to the first work position. Here, workers cut off the colored steel straps holding the coil together. The automatic uncoiler grabs the steel and fixes it firmly in place, then starts to unroll it. Just like pulling on a giant roll of paper. The deformed front edge is cut off since that part cannot be used in production. After removing the scrap, a drive bridge is lowered and the steel sheet goes through cleaning and leveling. A cleaning machine removes oil, dust, and other impurities. Then the sheet passes between rollers that press both sides to make it perfectly flat. Once that's done, the drive bridge is lifted again, letting the steel drop freely to release internal stress through reverse deformation. Only after that can the steel be precisely cut. The machine automatically stacks each piece after cutting, forming piles of flat, smooth, stamping sheets. You can see the thickness is pretty impressive. Next comes the main part, stamping and forming the body panels. Volkswagen uses two stamping lines, one made by Miller Weingarten and another from Janan's second machine tool. There are two types of stamping sequences, five-step and six-step lines. Now let's check out the advanced six-step process. Step 1 is drawing, where the flat sheet is pressed into the basic shape of the part. Step 2 is trimming, cutting away extra edges. Step 3 is punching, creating all the required holes. Step 4 is fine trimming, removing small burrs along the metal edges. Step 5 is flanging, folding up the edges of the part with precision down to 0.1 mm. Step 6 is shaping, refining the contours, and making sure every line and corner is sharp and accurate. This six-step process greatly reduces quality defects and ensures every panel is stronger and more rigid. By now, can you tell which car part this is? All these freshly stamped components are then transferred to the welding workshop, where they'll be assembled into the car's main body.